In this video, I'm going to go through how to make no waste flying geese. You'll need a large square, four small squares, um, a marking device, and a ruler and rotary cutter. So the first step is to take your small squares and on the wrong side, you're going to mark a, a line from corner to corner. And you'll see I've already used my red Frixon pen to do this. You can see it. Um, the Frixon pens are really handy because they um, the ink it disappears whenever you press it with an iron. So that's pretty handy. So I've, I've already marked my squares, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. You take your large square, you're going to take two small squares, and line it up on opposite corners. And there will be some overlap of these two small squares, and that's fine. You take a pin and pin these small squares in place. Then we're going to walk over to the sewing machine and you're going to sew a quarter inch seam on either side of this drawn line. Okay, we're back from the sewing machine and you can see that I've sewn a quarter inch on either side of my drawn line. And now I'm going to cut it apart. So you'll cut on your drawn line and it'll give you two shapes that look like this and then you're going to press this seam open. Okay, I'm back from the sewing machine and you'll see that my seam is pressed open. My blocks are nice and flat. Then you're going to take one more of your squares and line it up on the bottom corner overlapping here. Pin in place. The pins aren't required, but it is nice to keep the, the fabric from shifting while you're sewing your blocks. Do the same thing with both pieces. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna sew a quarter inch line on either side of this drawn line. Okay. Back again, you'll see my sewn lines on my either side of my drawn line. And then you're going to cut these apart. And there you go. This gives you four flying geese. You have this nice shape. So you're going to press this open once again. Just give it a quick finger press. And you'll have four flying geese. So now that you have your four flying geese pressed, the next step is to trim them down to size. If you check out the next video, I'll show you how I do that. 